Hit it. Back in the 2012 NBA draft, Andre Drummond, the UConn center, only 18 years old, still waiting to hear his name called. Austin Rivers, who spent a sensational year at Duke, also hoping to hear his name called in very short order. The Toronto Raptors have the next pick, number eight overall, and their pick is in. Commissioner David Stern ready to unveil in which direction the Raptors will go. With the eighth pick in the 2012 NBA draft, the Toronto Raptors select Terrence Ross from the University of Washington. Ah, Terrence Ross rocking up the board. Surprise to you, Chris? Yeah, a little surprising. Uh, he hadn't been mentioned this high, but I knew they liked him. Uh, they want some athleticism and some shooting on the perimeter, and this guy can certainly deliver that. It's not a bad pick. They had the third lowest scoring average in the NBA last year, fewer than 91 points per game. They're going to get Jonas Valanciunas, they think, from Lithuania this year. It was a top five pick a year ago. And Terrence Ross out of UW. Terrence Ross is an outstanding shooter. Uh, he's 6'7". Uh, he does a, a really good job in catch-and-shoot situations. He's got a, a pretty good crossover move, actually. Not the type of guy that is going to get his own shot, but he's got deep range. In the NIT, toward the end of the year, he averaged 25 points a game uh, in the NIT. Terrifically athletic, a good guard rebounder. Actually, Lorenzo Romar, his coach, would put him down in the post at times against smaller guards. After timeouts, they would look to throw him a lob, get him a shot. Uh, solid in transition, uh, but th this is a good player. I, I was I'm a little surprised it was this high, but you knew when he was invited to the green room, he's going to be taken in the lottery. I don't think anybody had him at eight, but if you're looking for a shooter, he and John Jenkins were two of the best shooters in this draft. John Jenkins of Vanderbilt. John Jenkins of Vanderbilt, perhaps the late first round, early second rounder. Terrence Ross zoomed up the draft board, Mark Jones. Terrence, you were a late addition to the green room. How would you explain your sudden and late rise to prominence here i mean first off i want to thank god because without him i wouldn't be here but uh it's just a blessing i mean i can't even describe what i'm feeling right now it's still surreal toronto number eight takes you what was it about your workout for them you think impressed them i think just all around game i got to the basket shot the ball well and my defensive intensity you know it kind of stand out more than anything else all right terrence good luck guys they say that uh, guys you worked out against say he was one of the more athletic players in the draft class back to you Rocking that bow tie too. The Raptors missed the playoffs for the fourth straight year, 20 games under 500. When you look at this roster, what, what's your reaction? The ditches of Ross now. Well, the big kid coming from Lithuania, to me, if he's as good as they say and he can move Bargnani to the four, then they have a chance to start moving up the ladder. They obviously need a starter at the small forward position. They need Calderon to bounce back and play like he's capable. And then DeMar DeRozan quietly has carved out a nice start to his NBA career. The average about 17 points per game. What do you think of the pick? You were surprised well, like, by the it, pick. But. There, well, just because, like Jay said, it was so high, but I like him as a player, and I think I like him actually as a fit. Their plan this summer is to go after Steve Nash. They may even amnesty Jose Calderon to create more room to go after Steve Nash. It's going to be a long shot because Phoenix, you know, wants to keep him to offer him a lot of money. The Knicks want to get in the mix with Steve Nash. But if they can bring him back to Canada, now you do have some shooters in Bargnani and Terrence Ross that can play off Steve Nash. Uh, Toronto's been a team that in five of the last nine drafts they've had some international flavor. Not a lot of international flavor in this draft, Fran Fraschilla, but if Valanciunas, as Jeff Van Gundy just mentioned, is the real deal, it's almost like getting an influx of, of two, it is two lottery picks that they'll have uh, next year if he comes over. You're right, Reese. The Raptors practiced delayed gratification a year ago because Valanciunas stayed in Europe, played at a high level, and played well. The thing you like about this kid at seven feet tall, he's got a nasty streak. And if you want to ask anybody about him, ask Jeremy Lamb here of UConn and Doug McDermott of Creighton because he torched Team USA in the under-19 World Championships. They're going to like this young group of guys they're building and they certainly need an anchor in the middle like Jonas Valanciunas. Now Valanciunas is going to be the anchor in the middle for Toronto, they think. Detroit has wanted a...